Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Let's talk to Mademoiselle. A weary traveler, battered and bruised. You come for sustenance, no decadence. I already had my feel of that. A mien cool as ice, yet eyes burning hot. Oh yes, I know your bliss. A sturdy dwarf, a leather whip, she gives, you receive, or have I misjudged you? <laughs> You've misjudged me terribly. She'll need three costume changes, minimum. Mm, oh, you crave a performance. How decadent. It's fee on you seek, our stern librarian. She isn't here today, alas. Your penance must wait. Well, we've other ways to fill your void. A drink for one, a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin. We already had drows. <laughs> Are there any other options for companionship? Nisha. Our lovely nymph. But she's engaged in the nymph's grotto on the top floor, sweeting. The client's a favorite of hers, too. I doubt you'll be able to tear her away. But we are blessed to have a devil in residence at the moment. A temporary guest. But he asked that I send any potential clients his way. Everyone who's paid a visit looks quite changed by the experience. In the flop house lies a fresh killed corpse, a lady dwarf. Could that be film? Murdered! Ye gods, the poor thing! Oh, by the mother of cats, I pray she didn't suffer. They'll miss that face. Else, the regulars will miss her more. They swarmed her like honeybees at the hive. Oh. Losing Fion slashed a big hole in my coin purse. I should get to replacing her. Surely you can spare a reward for this information? I have little coin, but I offer sin in abundance. Talk with the drow twins in the tap room. They're legends among the regulars, almost myths. Tell them they will gift from the mamzelle and let them show you why. So we could have get that for free. Sweeting? Did the devil guy give you its name? Indeed he did. Raphael. Exceedingly handsome and with a voice that could make the foulest blasphemy seem the sweetest him. It's really a shame that um, the map guides you directly to the f uh, to Raphael's room and not to Mademoiselle M Mademoiselle M Mamzel Mira You're looking parched sweetheart another tankard Oh Stalin another sip and I'm like to spill over but other anchoring for spicier flavors How about you give me a taste Okay. What'd you say, doll? Have a set on my lap. Let's see what pops up. Darling, how you set me a quiver. You are a beast among men. No, a dragon. Setting my phoenix nest aflame. <sighs> I shall slake your first dragon. You will part your lips and drink of my essence. Oh, I will drink your essence. Hoots, order up! Another tankard for the fist! No, I won't tell. No, we won't interrupt. You can stare as much as you like. Okay. Nine hells! You followed me all the way here? Yes. What could you possibly want with me now? 
Ok, no, fin y aparte. Um, this one. We talk to you. Citizen. Um, this is Raphael. Okay, so apparently we. Oh, not here. Here? Yeah, here. And uh, we need to go back to the flop house. Oh my goodness. Through here. Because there's apparently something more that I overlooked. Spoken to the body. This much I remember. Okay. Oh. I know this key. It's identical to the one held by that corpse in the tunnels. Is it f to this chest? Hmm. I'm taking at least the green stuff so we can sell it later. Something in the boat? No, where are we? Old. Wait. Uh, the key, the key, the key. A key in Frego's for past perfectly matches one we found under the open hand temple. We should see if we can find more evidence about Father Lawrence's murder in the flop house. Okay. In the flop house. I mean like the trees? Okay, I have no idea why the tutorial reset. Empty, empty. Corpse can no longer speak. Well, I believe me, I am trying to do something, I just don't see a thing. I mean, it looks like there's another level to this building. Come on. What do you mean? Ah. It's like, what do you mean you cannot get over there? We just were there. some level too high I don't think there's anything inside To just go for the wardrobe we've seen earlier. Maybe we can. No, sh sir. Good, sir. Give me three days and. Oh, I. Apologies. I thought you were someone else. 
Greetings, so forth, so on. So far, I was called ugly. I was called other names, and now you call me Sir. Fionn Hadassan, did you two ever meet? Dolor, weird fella. He'd come and go, quiet as a bug's breath. And never here when his mum needed him. Always here when she didn't. I found a dwarf's corpse hidden away upstairs. What do you know, know about it? Oh. Oh dear. A dwarf, you say? Yes. Fionn. One of Mamzelle's girls from Charesse's caress. Been gone for a ten day. Smiled as wide as the wide, but twice as sunny. You don't suppose the murderer? Oh, goodness no. It's too horrible to imagine. Horrible hells. I better lay low. Lower than low. Under low. Wait. Wait, what? Oh, Gotta keep low. Uh. Blooming hell, you look famished. I've got some victuals that'll warm you right up. Um, hmm. I found Fionn's corpse murdered, it seems. Murdered? Oh, dearie me. And to think, her remains were just a whisper away. M make sure Mamzelle knows. Cross the way at the caress. Yeah, God, she'll be right unsettled. I'm staying put, mind. If a killer wanted me dead, I'd already be crammed under the boards. Hmm, I'm feeling a bit peckish. What do you have? Have a skeg at these. Anything interesting? Not really. That should Thank do you. you. Yeah, that's true. We have plenty of food. No, she still she will know. No adventurer, adventurer. But there was someone upstairs. Him. Oh. Now what do you reckon, lass? You trust these steel watcher thingy jigs? Give me a moment. Why do we up here? Probably break his hips. Really? Okay. What's a still water? You burnt your head recently. Yes. Didn't you spot him by the gate? Yes. Big metal bastards. Even bigger swords. It's all right. Well, we can get work repairing them, but what happens when they build something else to do that? Ah, uh, it's no good, I tell you. Wait, that's all. Seems like a good moment to talk. Wait. What if? Okay. Breathe deep and move. I have no idea. Fion's chest. Do you mind? With pleasure. Your lock picking is attracting attention. Tread carefully. I don't mind it. If I must. Well, you reckon, lad? You trust these steel watch? I saw so right. No one back home will ever believe this. And find a. Oh, wait. Ah! Remember, you have keys, too. I've not written a diary before. Dashkin said it might do wonders to my mind. Maybe distance is just what happens when the winds grow up. But it's still hard. My boys never left the nest before. Really, never cared to. I know he's older than most who still live with their moms, but I've never cared about that. And I don't think he has either. It just... He acts so differently, too. Secretive, rude. Barsh. Gods, I don't know about this. 
Maybe dash can't was wrong. I don't think better at all. Not for communal use. It's not for communal use. Okay, is there any cool dreams on the Blame Griska? Still Wait, will he still be upset if I look through those? Let's keep your hands. <sighs> Thank you. Open for that. You see, if he did not Let's keep your hands to yourself. Mm. You're being what? Yeah, we have the other key. Who has the other key? We have too much stuff. All right. What now? Never wanted the easy path. Okay, I give up with this place. Oh, now, why do you have? Oops. Why do you have so many problems trying to get out of here? Okay, who else are we looking for in here? Help the village ox. Um, smuggle the creature into the city. I was. Sh Voss. Hey. Voss, 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 Voss. Oh, it's him. I don't want to. Talk to him. Something's on my mind. Tell me you took the devil's deal. Tell me you will free Gith's heir. I'm not interested in impacting with devils, was. Shkaketh. Orpheus will be free. There is no cost too high to unshackle my people. Well, don't worry, I'll find a way to liberate him. I did not come this far for you to turn your back on the First Mother's son. And yet it seems I have no choice but to trust. There is but one prism, and you are its key. Raphael possesses a powerful relic called the Orphic Hammer. That hammer is the only thing capable of smashing the chains that bind the Prince of the Comet. Find a way to retrieve the hammer and free Orpheus from the prism. I will assemble his remaining honor guard and plan our next actions. Together, we will yet free the true heir of Gith's blessed empire. He will free us from Vlakith and lead our Kithraki against the Geich. Is Dick. I will wait in the underground. Seek me when you have the hammer in hand. I still don't trust you. Orpheus sends the tadpole before and his guard at heart. Will he attack if we free him? The Prince of the Comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Geich. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name. But he will see reason. I promise you. And how can you promise that? Do you know him personally? No. Any idea where Raphael might keep the Orphic Hammer? The devil of Raphael's stature does not simply make camp on the shores of the Styx. Hmm. He will have made a sanctuary for himself. We've been there. Lavish one too, one that caters mm -hmm. to his many vices. He must keep the Orphic Hammer there. Every house has an entrance, Istic. Even those in the Hells. You must find it. Let's go to Avernus. You are wasting your time and mine. 
Our true enemy is the Elder Brain. Focus your mind. I forgot that he can hear us now. He, yeah, but you won't tell me who I can speak to. Wait. Listen, and dear. I'm not telling you what to do. Clubhouse. Wait, there was something else? Uh, do with the devil? No, I also saw. Oops, don't do that. The thingy to. Never mind. Okay, let's keep exploring. I don't have any other ideas. Wait, can we knock? I know I do not really care about others' privacy, but I'm not heartless yet. Although I am this close. This like needle's head. Really. Ooh. Ooh. Nope, no, 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 I mean, I could give you away some things. Oh, I have three of those. And I know I won't use them, that's the thing. Remember, she only has 600 gold, so don't go overboard too much. Some of heterochromia we've encountered. There is no big thing too much about it. They just really like m making people heterochromia. I thought there was a person under this rhubarb. Um, sometimes looking through. The walls is really weird. <laughs> Dentals, dancing axe. Welcome to Danthilon's dancing axe. Our stock isn't used. It's tried and tested by the finest adventurers. Greetings, sir. Your noble bearing brings a little class to my humble establishment. How may I be of service? Okay, show me what you have to trade. Let's just be with it. Like, ooh! Wounds of the Berserker. Impossible to put on some the creatures of her already taking damage. Attacking gnomes or dwarves with this plus plus D4. Oh! Ooh, ice knife. What do I have now? Right now? 
missile snare and I am using it. Ooh. Give me that. It will be for a starion. And medium armor, I don't need. I am using light armor. Do you have anything? Medium. Light. Plus one to stealth, uh, plus one to dexterity and frozen. And checks. This will be better than what. Ooh. Uh, it's a rapier, so something for will. Targets have disadvantage on saving throws against your maneuver and weapon actions. Are we really using such actions? I don't think so. Okay. And I'll give you boots. I'll give you sentient amulet. I like this. That's called restoration, although I am not really using it. Because, you know. Hmm. Not that it's me, it just I'm not really thinking on using any stuff apparently. Uh, can I stack those? Not really. Okay, and I think that's all. Thank you. Short father, bless you. Okay. Once again, where is my equipment? <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. Not proficient? Wait. Light armor, F9. Light armor. Not medium. Light. God damn it. He's not getting hit that often. And he'll get the better cloak. I'll give the cloak to... Yes. Okay. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Light armor. Great. Can you use me the armors? Um... Medium armor is great. Where is it? That's great. You have... You need helmet, you need boots. You have something. Sure. Boots. Boots. Water stuff for you? Is that blood? No, never mind. Don't worry, soon enough we will have every equipment he needs. Mm. Why not? Okay. Shouldn't wish to live in more interesting times. You break it, you well. Knowing Enthal, it was already broken. Okay. These boots have seen everything. Let's see. Oh my goodness, please stop doing. Let's go out of here. Let's go upstairs. But what I understand that to get inside down here, we would have to break in. Apothecary. Stop. Inhale through the nose. Hold. Exhale slowly through the mouth. <sighs> now you've just sampled some of Baldur's Gate's finest incense. Delicious, no? Hmm. Incense, I thought... 
Glorious, there are some heady top notes. Aren't they just? You clearly have excellent taste. What can I do for you, sir? Quite the establishment you have here. I must say, I'm rather proud of it. The wood paneling cost a fortune, but it's so worth it for the lux atmosphere it provides. What have you got in stock? Everything alchemical from potions to poisons. Just do make sure you read the label before quaffing. Okay. Hmm? Uh, basically anything we everything we have. And I Be thank sure you. To savor each purchase. Yeah, and I'm honest to God, I am trying to make especially Porsche. Ooh. Maybe I should make some potions of flying. Mm, can make a lot of things. Grenades. Look. I really would prefer the more more useful description than what we get. Elix of resistance, universal. Free, please. Thank you. Elixir of Colossus. Free, please. Thank you. Tadpole. What does it do? Stimulates the final gland in the brain. I'm looking more level power. Bark skin. Great. No, not this one. Um. Okay, let's give him all the arrows because I am not using them at all. And he is. Mm. Send that to camp. Those two. Also. Horseradish. I'm really starting to think that you are giving me some supplies. My strange, oh, strange apple. Toxin. Disarm. Why do I have disarm two? Well, two kids. Those wishing to face the Dread Lord's Tribunal and the Temple of Baal must lay the targets on this list and frame the corpses as murder by the cult of Absolute. Bring the victim's hand as proof of the killing. Walk in blood. Aspirant. Ooh. Cora mm. Highbury, Figure of Penny Gods, Chef Rover, National Valley. I don't remember any of those names. Great! I did not read that earlier. Okay, okay. We found a list of. People, the targets are all for ballast murderers. The only victim left alive is in the lower city. The murderers following the list are trying to get into the number of ball. So maybe we'll find Oren. Mm. Wait, you said that one person is alive? Just some nope. Soft span of wings. Wait, is that wait first? Okay, so the AK. Wait, that's Worms Crossing or Baldur's Gate? I am so confused. I think that's Baldur's Gate. No, that's Worms Crossing. Wait. Uh, oh, I thought you guys do not have access over here. Now, please be sneaky about it. Do we have a key? No. Watch your back. I mean, we do have a key. 
Listen, if I can get somewhere, I will get somewhere. Crawler mucus. Mm, oh, paralyzing. Ew. Okay, give me that. And potions. Oh, by the way, potion of mind reading. Um, yeah, give me that. Not here. I'm sorry I've been so chaotic today. I don't know why. Okay, I think I should give you those elixirs of arcane cultivation. Universal resistance for me. Uh, any universal resistance for you. Uh, uh, mm, just take it. Have a lot on my mind, and well, in it. Free is okay. Free is okay, and free for you. give you those throwing stuff. Okay. Hmm. Light on my feet. I really wanna go down here. Can we We could try fly. But <laughs> there must be a reason why we jump jump. No. There must be a way to get down here. Oh, there is. Oh, report your findings to investigator. Oh, right, investigator. Ooh. I presume you found something interesting to discuss if you're interrupting me again. Father Lorgan's murder is just one part of bigger plot. A ball plot. A ball plot. You as well. What? Devella's been harping on about Baal for months. Fancies herself something of an expert. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy cods while up in fear mongering. But she's been unusually insistent about this one, even for her. Oh, fine. I'll bite. What's your theory? It's not a theory. I have proof. This document contains information connecting the murders to the Bali's resurgence. No need to wave documents at me. I'm already drowning in paperwork as it is. Constable Devella is going to be a real pain in the trunk about this. Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you seek her out? She'll be at the Elf Song Tavern. Show her the list and I'll stay and inform the fist here. Oh, and you'll need this pass. Eek. It'll give you access to the lower city. Thank you. Well, what are you waiting for? You've a bloody conspiracy to solve. Move. Okay, so now we can we should be able to get to the lower city. I will try to save the game even though it might break it. Sorry, chum, can't let you through. Worms rocks closed for the day. But they just used potions. <laughs> Investigator Valeria needs me to in the lower city. I saw killers on the loose. Valeria? Well, I'm
I'm not messing about with a murder inquiry for damn sure. Straight ahead across the bridge. A blind ogre couldn't miss it. Thank you. I mean, it's not an alibi. I'm. Mm. Brickwork and. Halt! We do not know how you gained entry, but your trespass shall not be punished. Lord Gortash has been expecting you. The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place, confident, dominant, commanding. My most esteemed guests, we meet at last. I am Lord Enver Gortash. You are the prison bearer, slayer of the dread General Kethrick Thorne. I welcome you to Baldur's Gate, my city. Pleasure to meet you. Could we talk face to face? Of course, of course. My seal watchers are rather adept at keeping the peace, but not entirely suitable for polite conversation. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. Do I have to? Expecting you. We shouldn't have any more Please trouble. Please make your guys. way to the audience chamber. Not this again. I'm pretty sure the elder brain is in that room. The brain appears to be resisting its masters. It's acting of its own. Way. Wrong room. Here goes nothing. Wait. What? To audience chamber, okay, audience chamber, this one. But I wanna go. I wanna go there. Yes, okay, audience chamber. Mizora? If it isn't little Will's chums. I hope he hasn't been too much trouble. Heard about his father. The Dead Three's puppet. A travesty, really. He's upstairs in Worm's Rock, ordaining Gortash as Archduke. A splendid shindig, I hear. Perfect for crashing. Go on up. We'll talk after. And bring the pup along, if you can. I'd hate for him to miss the fun. Actually, that could be... That's an idea. Um, Gail, Gail, Gail. Yeah, I can see you want to talk. Gail. God damn it! I do not. Oh, there he is. I don't understand this camp at all. For some reason. This Orphic hammer sounds like quite the artifact. One I'll have no desire to consume, if that's your concern. Hey, you haven't been consuming artifacts as of late. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here in the meantime. Yep. Well? Men, women, children, all barred from entry. A damn travesty. A decade ago. Baldur's Gate would have welcomed any and everyone seeking refuge. Who would take in these souls, if not the Jewel of Baldurin? Baldur's Gate was a safe refuge when I left it. This might be Gortash's doing. As long as Gortash is in charge, they'll be left shivering at the gates. All part of the plan, of course. Step one, create an army and order it to march on the city. Step two, shut the gates in the name of security. Step three, bask in the applause. Gortash hasn't made Baldur's Gate safe. He's made it a prison. And when his army breaks through, the people will have nowhere to run. To make this city a safe haven, we'll need to bathe Gortash and his allies in their own blood. It seems Grand Duke's Telme has been murdered. Did you know her at all? I met her twice. 
The first time I was a boy of seven or eight at a banquet in the Flaming Fist's honor. One look and I was smitten. Chestnut hair that flowed behind her like willow fronds as she floated from one room to the next as if carried by clouds. The second time, Stelmane was different. Even with the aid of a cane, each step she took was a struggle. Every word she spoke took great physical effort. A stroke victim? I asked father later. No, he said. A stroke survivor. You sense uncertainty in Will's voice. He questions his father's explanation. I sense there's something more to the story. Could you guys stop hiding the truth? Something's always gnawed at me. At the banquet, Stelmane didn't seem to look at us, but through us. But that second time, her gaze never left me. It was steel, sharp and unyielding. It could just be my imagination. But I always felt that it was more than a stroke that had changed her. What, though? I couldn't say. Any idea who could be behind the killing? I couldn't say. But think about this. My father was Tadpole. Stelmane is dead. The people are frightened and the council's in disarray. To exert control, you must first sow chaos. A tyrant strategy, as father would say. These murders aren't random acts. Someone powerful is guiding the killer's hand, and the city is made weaker for it. The Emperor's promise is incredible power. No, no, no. I would like to join me. The spirit. Yeah, we have to level him up. Cone of cold. Yeah. And hmm. Penning blast. Let's see, do I want to change any of your spells? I mm, I no. <laughs> Can trip. Won't you friends? Mage hand minor ocean true strike. Let's give you true strike. And flame strike. Make them burn. Although, I hope we won't be fighting. I just want to make it to the city. Nothing else. In the name of the Steel Watch, aggressive action will not be tolerated in the presence of the patriarchs of this proud city. Point taken, I'll keep things peaceful. The Steel Watch, appreciate your cooperation, citizen. Dearest patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, what a moment. The Blade of Frontiers graces our halls. He's wearing his devilish best. My father, he's here. My friend, forgive the cold welcome. My steel watchers are eager watchdogs. For the good of the people, I'm sure you understand. Lord Enver Gortash at your service. I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that nether stone that you carry. 
You know, it takes all three to control the brain. Without Thorms, it's become vexingly willful. The Quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the Crown. I expect it'll start with turning the Sword Coast's infected. You among them. That prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the Grand Design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well... Not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided. If you and I come to an understanding, together we can still restore authority over the brain. Of course. Gordash always did have an eye for opportunity. Why is the crown failing? It's not. But it will not follow new orders unless the Netherstones are united to give the command. When it finishes executing its current orders, it will be free to do as it wishes. That will be bad for everyone. Once it is freed from its shackles, I doubt we'll ever be able to bring it under control again. I have another question. What kind of command is under right now? Because as far as I understand, you can be just using me. Not using me. What kind of understanding do you suggest? There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. And? With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. Baal's chosen wants the Neverstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. What are you getting at? Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know, she's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. What? You want me to believe you mean no harm to the city? I'd like to propose a pact. A divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here. So the three are united once again. Together, we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the absolute. And my father? Your father will do whatever you command him to. Like any other subject in our kingdom. What do you say? Shall we be allies? I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well, and if it does not, well, we need not honor it. What about the oath? Oof. An ally could be useful, at least for now. And when he's no longer useful, well, we can dispose of him then. It will kill me, I'm fairly sure, so I'm doing con control save so we don't have to go through that again. Okay, let's examine Gortash's body language and expressions. Can we trust him? No, we cannot. We don't have to ask dice that. God damn it. I'm pretty sure we have a couple of uh, inspirations for. Gortash's eyes blink in a consistent rhythm. He stands calmly, confidently. He fully intends to share his kingdom with you. Or he's a psychopath. He... As I, it seems none of you can be trusted. You, Orin, Kethrick. So Kethrick was ready to betray our alliance too. I can't say it comes as a surprise. But you should know this. I initiated this plot. I brought Kethrick and Orin together to create the Absolute. 
They knew this would only work if we stood united and coordinated our powers. Their ambition blinded them to reason. I don't suffer the same affliction. In short, you can trust me. No, I cannot. I'll think about it. Perhaps a demonstration of why you need my help will motivate you to make the right decision. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter, a faceless. Who, I can't say. The kid. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly. Or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. How can I see from shapeshifters? Hmm. You, Orin Kefrik, the brain. What was your plan? First, Orin the Red, bloody dagger of Baal, causes panic in the streets through killings in the Absolute's name. Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general, Kethric Thor. In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me. Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them. All out of fear of the absolute. Next, I, we, will declare curfew and begin infecting the masses. Our subjects will hear the voice of their absolute god. The faithful will do anything in the name of their god. Where in the nine hells did you find a powerful artifact like the crown? Powerful connections. Let's leave it at that. Raphael. I've heard enough. Am I free to go? Soon. First, come and be witness as I make history. The first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. I wouldn't dream of missing it. Then we proceed. The patriarchs await. Will does not understand. Distinguished dukes, patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash. Swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same by word, deed, and decree so that none may suffer? I swear. Gathered guests, grant ye consent. <laughs> Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Can we explode his tadpole? My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty-handed. I do want to kill him. Oh, Mizora, we need to talk. Did I tell you? A momentous occasion. I'm sure you agree. I've had enough, Mizora. What do you want? Your attention, little pup. Nothing more. And you'll be glad to give it. You see, Gortash has had your father relocated. Ready. I thought Gotash would want to give him a, a round. I'm just an impartial observer. 
This is Gortash's game. A murderous one, the way I hear it. Shit. Your dad's good as dead, pup. And to think there's no way to save him. Or is there? You know something. I know enough. I'll be in your camp if you want to work something out. I'm not selling my soul to the devil. I would sell my virginity if I had it, but unfortunately we don't. Of course she'd stick her infernal nose where it doesn't belong. Of course she's dreamt up some risible scheme. By all the hounds of the hells, what is she planning? Your father's involved, which means it's worth hearing her out. Mazora's always worth hearing out. That's what makes her so dangerous. We'll have answers soon enough. Mazora's gone to camp. We should speak with her. Until then, may my father keep safe. Whatever coop he's been flown to. Okay. Can I finally go to the... Hmm? What's that? Oh god. Without him casting nary a spell. Well, Lower City? Idiots will. You can lure them into a dragon's more if you promise a bag of sweets. I'm one of them. The people aren't stupid, Astarian. They're scared. Gortash provoked a damned war and then promised them safety. Safety, sweets, it's the same principle. I would like some sweets. Mm hmm. Thank you for the lift, my friend. Thank you very much indeed. Ooh. Shapeshifter. Where did he... They want to know where, did, where he went? Not really. Okay, but this... Oh my goodness. Slightly sleep. Let's read that and I'm gonna end this part here. Thanks for getting me in. I owe you one. Yeah, you do. But that is gonna be it for today, so for now, thank you very much, stay alive, and see you soon! Bye!